What is it, mommy? It's the Anilica Stone, Celebi. It's a device that allows you to instantly reach adulthood. My company, Chimera Corp, developed it. Celebi, you have a great hidden potential, and I foresee that you'll become at least eight orders of magnitude stronger than me someday. With all the unusual events going on lately, I'd like you to have this just in case. But be warned, if you decide to transform, I don't think you can go back. How do you activate it? Just touch it and say the following password. I'm ready. I'll put it on my new desk for safekeeping. Huh? I wish it were just a dream, and not a memory. Oh, what do you want? Please, stop chasing me! Please! Oh, oh you're supposed to be dead! Parole granted. You're supposed to be dead. Hmm, Celebi's late again. I hope she's alright. Sorry, I had another rough night. What's new? Do you remember that supernova we were expecting in Andromeda's Delta Quadrant? Well, the energy output was extraordinarily less than our predictions. Curiously, the Super X wandered into the area just prior to the explosion. On Guiris' ship? Did he survive? Yes, but get this. He was transporting on Obtanium, and the Super X security hologram indicates there might have been a stowaway. Mew, you don't think unlikely. Did somebody just power up? It registered like a supernova. Oh no. Let's go. <coughs> Listen, I don't know how you returned, but I know it's you. Show yourself, Redosaurus. <sighs> you man? But you're supposed to be- Dead, Empress Celebi. Allow me to explain. In 1953, Redosaurus had nearly drained my entire life force. <laughs> Suddenly, he saw a stronger entity on the horizon and gave chase. Clinging to life, I crawled away. Everyone thought I was dead. I used this to my advantage. Lurking in the shadows, I plotted my revenge. Finally, I made my way to Andromeda and convinced the pilot to fly his cargo within range of a supernova. Fly your cargo within range of a supernova. Will do, voice in my head. I used the unobtainium to absorb the supernova's energy and increase my power by an obscene amount. I tracked Redosaurus through his acquaintances. They were frightened by my interrogations, but left unharmed. I learned that I had missed his passing by mere months, but I will not allow his death to get in the way of my vengeance. I intend to use the Enterprise's Soul Reattacher to transmit his soul into my own body, where I shall direct my will towards his torment for as long as I see fit. I feel that this is worthy punishment. If anyone tries to stop me, I assure you I will do my best not to kill them. But I shall incapacitate those who stand in my way. I have no quarrel with any being, with the exception of one solitary soul. So, that's what you want. Mommy! Mistress Biodante, I sensed you following me, but I'm afraid you're not nearly powerful enough to pose a threat. That's why I powered up as a warning. I bid you all farewell. <coughs> Mommy, what are we going to do? Celebi, you've got a tough decision to make. Are you willing to fight for an evil man's soul, or are you prepared to leave well enough alone? If I can fight, I will. Even if we are talking about Redosaurus's soul, I still feel that what Gilman is doing is wrong. Gilman's power level is at least eight orders of magnitude stronger than my own, Celebi. Remember what I told you all those months ago. <coughs> I'm ready. Empress Celebi, you've sacrificed your youth in a vain attempt to thwart me, I see. Still, you are no match for- No, there's no way you could be more powerful than me. 
I am formed a supernova, but you are more powerful. Stay out of my way. My business with Redosaurus has nothing to do with you. I will stop you. Then I shall do my best not to kill you, my dear. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> All right, no more Ms. Nice Pan Temporal Forest Sprite. I surrender. What? <sighs> Look at these readings. So many souls at peace, but his isn't. It was never my place to punish him. I have broken many kaiju laws in my quest for vengeance. I will surrender myself to the authorities. <sighs> no need. You may have asylum in my galaxy. You are very gracious. I'm only sorry that it was due to my actions that you felt as though you had to make a life-changing decision. <coughs> what transpired? All is as it should be. But my friends, we are not able to return to the status quo this time. And in my new form, I feel very alone. I'm ready. You, no! Why? You're not that much stronger than you were before! Perhaps you'll feel a little less alone now. There's a reason why you're my favorite. <laughs>